What is going on everybody and welcome back. We are here on the free to play count doing my favorite favoritest of a favoritest favorite favorite uh event in Dokkan. Explosive Chain Battle. Now this time around we are fighting dun -dun -dun -dun, freaking Vegeta and Nappa. So very interesting choice for Chain Battle. I thought it was gonna be like Shenron or somebody that actually takes the spirit bomb. Well, actually, no. Never mind. Anyway. Um, yeah, so we have to use Power of Wishes, Earthbed Fighters, and Wicked Bloodline. Bunch of base form Gokus. You know, anybody who participated like, in the Saiyan Saga for heroes, and then like for a Wicked Bloodline is anybody like, uh, like uh, Namek Frieza. More specifically, first form Namek Frieza. So if you have dupes of this guy in his TUR form and his SSR form, he works. Uh, bring in the reward card. He's a reward. This is a reward Frieza. And obviously the three forms of the LR Prime Battle Frieza. I only have two. Uh, I'll work on getting the third one, right? And then obviously there's a whole bunch. Obviously the Carnival LRs are big here, right? Um, Kyle King Goku, all this crazy stuff. There's a whole bunch of other first form Friezas that exist, right? But it's kind of like... They're kind of niche and not really readily available. You know what I mean? Some of these are old, right? You don't want to really use any of these guys. You're better off using um, like LRs that link up well. I'll give you a whole bunch of points. But I guess I could be wrong. So hopefully, I mean, with time, the strategies will come out. And then rotations will pop up. So all I have is a bunch of Gokus with Gohans. Because they'll link up the best as best as I can from the pool of units that I have, right? And then for freezes, as many first form freezes as possible within reason. And then obviously as many STR uh, free, uh, characters outside of Frieza, right? Um, so let's go see uh, what the numbers are. Hopefully they're super high. That way uh, it's easy to get that 100,000. Uh, which, oh, that's all that really matters, right? Where the hell? Okay, battle info. There we go. Yeah, all right. So it's it's pretty up there. 155 million. Yeah, I, that that that's what we want to see. We want to see that because that way 100 million is super easy to get. We'll be able to get all the missions done and it won't be too difficult. All right. All right. So they're using Kaioken Goku. I mean, Tech Kaioken Goku here. Okay, so that's that's pretty easy. I don't Okay, so they're using him as well or the LR Kaioken Goku or the base form Goku. Z version Goku. Okay, I don't have this guy, so we're going to have to use the Tech Kaioken Goku. But it, it seems as though that, that's the way. And then first form Frieza, N not second form. I guess he has a higher stat and blinks and stuff like that. All right, let, let's go ahead and jump right. Let's do one or two rounds. Maybe I'll even go all the way, all the way until reset. Uh, but let's see. So let's uh, do LRs. Let's get rid of you. And let's put Z version Goku as my attacker. And let's see if I can't find a Kyle King Goku setup here. This one's good, but it has this Goku at the very end. This one has Krillin, so I'd rather take a bunch of Gokus. This one, sh like I said, this one shouldn't be too difficult. This one right here. That one, that one's perfect. Where's my Kyle King Goku? My tech Kyle King Goku's rainbowed, by the way. All right. Barbus, I love you, bro. But you have that SSR lineup right there. So I might have to choose someone else, unfortunately, bro. Oh, but you got Final Form. You got Golden Frieza. Hopefully, I get him too. This is probably a better lineup because there's multiple. Yeah, I'll go with that. Yeah, let, let's, do, let's do that. Let's, let's do that. First Form Frieza, let's go. All right, so I would imagine get as many Gokus as possible. Get as many, like, uh, yeah, get as many Gokus as possible predominantly from the pool of the gokus that will give you the most the featured ones right so let's let's see if we can get this i don't like doing the little trick where you pause and stuff like that i don't like doing that i like i thanked it boom that's good that looks really it was the best cards out of there i guess i could have gotten the piccolo and goku card but i i chose the kaiokens and then the z version goku all right let's see a hundred mil, bro. A hundred mil. If I can get a hundred mil right away, I will be... This is going to look good. Because obviously, there's a ton of room for improvement. And I haven't used my rainbow tickets. A hundred and eighteen million. God damn. Watch this be like top 50%. <laughs> I 
Why? Watch this. Be, watch this. Watch this. Be. Watch this. Not be shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, all that matters is I see all them missions done. Screen. That's what I see. That's what I see. I got all the missions done. All the all the point accumulation missions done. Look at that. The top nine percent. Holy crap. Yeah, I was like, watch this. <laughs> watch that 118 million not be shit. But I'm top nine. Okay, so obviously a couple of things can go better. Uh, better characters that I can choose for the hitting um, could get me into the top 5%, obviously. Um, I can set up better Frieza's for people. Getting all three forms of Prime Battle Frieza um, done could be good. And getting other first form Frieza's as well. What else can I do? I mean, if I get lucky enough with the rainbow tickets and get Carnival Goku or Carnival Gohan, they can work very well. Or I can get Kaioken Goku, um, LR Kaioken Goku for the hitting, right? I can also do that. Hmm. There's definitely some room for improvement. I can probably go for the 100. I could probably go for top 5%. But if I can keep the top within top 10, I'm, I'm more than satisfied with that. I thought I was going to be in the 20 or 35. That's usually where I am or even below that. But to get top 10 is still very good. I will take that. So let's do a couple more runs. Um, it looks pretty good so far. It's going to be super easy to get that billion. Look, see like this. This rotation right here would be very, very good. And then when I get the three characters, if I get both the carnival, the new two carnival LRs, and maybe even Kyle, LR Kyle Kengoku, which will be the best quotations, um, then that will go very well uh, for the for this hit. But the only huge negative is, is I don't really get one try, right? Because everybody else here kind of sucks. All right, so let's do let's do this one because he's he's basically lined up. And then uh, obviously getting better Frieza lineups will also work. Let's do my boy Bobo. Let's, let's let's go with this. Let, let's use a uh, first LR Prime Battle Frieza. Let's use him real quick. Obviously, we're going... The big one that, that will make the most difference will be the three that we choose, right? If we can choose the three uh, good ones, then that, that will work perfectly. Ooh, that's really good. Because, see, that Prime Battle Gohan still counts as... He's still one of the big ones. But we got both carnival cards. So I'm curious how this is going to go. My attacker for super isn't the best. That's fine. 92 million. It was probably the Kaioken Goku not being the attacker. That didn't allow me to get over 100 million. Okay. So this is a huge power dynamic right there. Okay. Just that little difference. I mean, it could be some other factors as well, right? But that's my take. So I'm not going to have any crazy rotations. I'm probably going to get above 80 consistently. Above, above 80 million consistently. But let's just let's just go through these and let's and let's do like one or two uh full resets at using stones. Let's so let's just get to that point. So this is a good chain battle. I will say this is one of the better chain battles. One if one, because, dude, there's so many options for your super side, right? So many options for good uh, for good 100K stuff. Very, very, like a lot of very good options, right? So, uh, this is a very good chain battle. If a good chain battle is determined by whether or not uh, it's easy, to, it's, it's easy, quotations, right? Easy to get the 100 million. Because that's getting all the missions. You can get the rest of the missions and get the 100 million. Then it's a fantastic chain battle, right? Because that way everybody can get everything done. And you can get the most out of the box you, you have, right? So that's the big thing right now. And there's a lot of free-to-play options too for both sides. I need I need to level up that Z version Goku. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I choose. It, it literally doesn't matter what I choose. I'm going to go for... Um, I'm going to go for it all. 
Because I'm a, I'm, I need to get to I need to get to the the stones so I can actually have good resets, and then set up well, right? So what would be the ideal lineup? Wow. Uh, Kyle can Goku, LR Kyle can Goku threefold with both Carnival LRs or all three versions of Carnival LRs of either one and then like the other two, right? But more realistically, Kyle can Goku, all three variants of him, plus the two Carnival LRs. That would be more. So 70 million is probably what people are going to be getting average wise. That's still not that bad, right? Because you get the bulk of the rewards. Like, if it's easy enough to get, if it's easy enough to get the 100k, right? Then it's a good chain battle. But also, if you can, if the majority of the player base can average out, let's just do this one, can average out, um, it can average out um, getting high scores. Be f without getting the 100 million so like 70 million to like 90 million is the range 70 million to 100 million is de definitely the range then it's a it, i consider that a very good chain battle right because not everybody's gonna have even the box that i have right but more or less you can get oh wow this is super bad you can get a good average for your cards for sure so that is that is one side of it because if you have, everybody has Z version Goku. You know what I mean? Everybody. It's it's one of the cards required to have, right? Because it's, it's such a good starting card. Everybody gets it, right? Maybe one day he'll EZA and he'll be even more insane for new players and for everybody, right? Because everybody has them. Everybody. And it's super easy to get. He could be your attacker, right? And then that Kaioken Goku, the tech one that I used, um, he's readily available through as a free card. Hell, you can get him for free now, right? With the... Um, Oh, wait. No, you can't. But he becomes available, right? He becomes readily available um, everywhere. And then for the Frieza, uh, first one Frieza for the Prime Battle. Super easy to get. Super easy to get. So there's a lot of options for you. All right. Let's see. Okay, so that one's still pretty good. Let's just go with that one. Hmm. Yeah, let, let's go with that one. And let's use my Kyle King Goku. Hmm. People have good freezes, but it's just the line, the lineup of them is what's what's bad, right? That's all it is, and that's completely random kind of a thing, right? Hmm. Let me just choose you just to rotate out a little bit easier. Trying to see. Oh, well, let me use my boy Barbaros. But the verse two are very good. All right. We should be good. All right. We'll do one or two. This one and one more and then we'll call it, right? Because at this point, it's just a matter of waiting for them to refresh and having better rotations and stuff like that. But hopefully the three that we choose is good. So we're not going to choose Freezes at all. We're going to choose Gokus or Gohans. Exactly the same, dude. Literally exactly the same. The only difference is the extreme supporter that I brought. Was my boy Barros. Okay. Let's see. 122 million! God damn, bro! You got me this close to getting the next percentile. Oh, that was so close. I'm going to use my boy. <laughs> 
Okay, so what was different there? The only difference was the extreme. So I had more first form freezes, even the SSR one. So, okay, so that would be the way to go. Wow, that was really good. Because everything else was exactly the same. I used literally the exact same uh, super support. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where was that? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. This guy right here. All right, so let's use you. Because he has the carnival cards. Both of them. And let's find my boy. Where is he? There he is. So we can keep it exactly the same. I w I'm very curious. Hopefully we get the exact... Uh, we can't get this exact same rotation, actually. For our first... For our three. So this is... A different super leader or a different super lineup same attacker for everything else except the three that we choose so hopefully we get two the two carnival the new two carnival lrs okay that's perfect three lrs we only got one i want that i want that next percentile but even if I reach the next percentile, there's no guarantee that I'll stay there. Once scores settle, I'll think um, if I can get to the next percentile, I can set myself up to be within the top 10 as a guarantee. 106 million. So that was not the way. Okay. I think because the rotation that I had before, there was just a whole bunch of Kyle Kens, right? So everybody linked up very well. So best case scenario... At least for me personally, is the LR Kaioken all three variants, and the Tech Kaioken both variants, and then my uh, Kaioken, my Tech Kaioken as attacking, and then for support as many first form freezes as possible. Okay, so there's definitely a little bit that I can manipulate here, but that's gonna be it for that. I'm gonna wait for this to refresh to kind of try out some different combinations. But I'm top seven. I'm top seven. So hopefully I can take. I can stay within top 10 into the duration of chain battle. Hopefully. Crossing my fingers. But making sure I can stay within this is, is very important. I don't think it's possible for me to get a top 1%. Because I need like either like an incredible lineup by somebody. Right? Or just get dumb lucky. Right? But I feel like can, I, I can for sure stay within the top 10 percentile. Hopefully I can. But that's pretty much it for Chain Battle. Let me know what you guys think of this uh, This Chain Battle. Do you think it's super easy? Do you think it's great? Do you think it's bad? Do you, do you just absolutely despise Chain Battle no matter what? I'm definitely there. I love and hate Chain Battle. I hate Chain Battle because sometimes they just straight up suck ass. But sometimes, mo most of the times they suck ass, but like sometimes Z's exist and I can get all my missions done and I can hit a good percentile. That's when it's a good chain battle. And hopefully everybody else uh, will be able to reach uh, a good percentage rank within chain battle as well and get most of the missions done. So I'm out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Take care.